need chupa lupus. Okay. I just you're gonna you're gonna see another video that I just uploaded. Okay. All about manifestation. It ended up being thirty three three zero. Uh, guys, keep it moving. Whosever energy this is, I, it doesn't matter. Breakup, no breakup. You're single. It is so important because the energy this week is is stagnant. It is time to manifest. It's up to you to move this energy. Okay, this is not a, a fast flowing, energetic week by by any means. It's it's almost like the calm before the storm. We do got a full moon coming, so it's like this energy is like if you want to move it, you need to move it. So if you're dealing with somebody who's not moving, I suggest you keep it moving. Okay, you're picking up on hidden. I mean, I'm I'm picking up on hidden energy dilemmas. Um, I feel like as long as you keep the energy moving and stagnant free, you're good. If you're getting out of a relationship, it looks like you got new love. If someone turned their back on you, it looks like there's new opportunities and new love. I'm just picturing the the two reads I did today and I, I have I have something I need to do and then I'm gonna come back in a little while and, and go live with you. But like for the love of God or the love of spirit, I, I don't know who you are. This is everyone, actually. It can, I'm thinking of the weekend I had. Like, keep, just keep it moving. It's up to you to keep this energy moving. Um, I don't know about today. I'll give you a day to like sit with this, and then maybe tomorrow I'll do an energy exchange and, and kind of push as much as I can. You can only push the energy as much as the the universal energies allow it. My right? energy is always always moving. But this week's energy, it is, it, it's not going to move like that unless you move it, okay? Unless you stay on top of it. Um, it's all about manifestations. There's something here that was manifested. If you thought what was, what was going to be manifested is being manifested and you're unaware of it, then eventually you will find out, okay? But keep it going, okay? So right now, see, this is what I'm saying, like, Compared to my weekend's energy, loneliness, right? Whether it's you, Ash, magnitude of people. But here's the thing, you're never alone. That's why I said for the love of spirit, the love of God, whomever you believe in or trust or atheist, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, if you're in this, you're creating this. Because this is a week of manifestation. So if somebody's going to sit in this, I, I truly wish you the best. I truly, truly wish you the best because this is a choice. It's like, what's that saying? You reap what you sow? I don't know why that came to me. Whether you're leaving somebody or whether this is you, it's like, because there was, a, there was a, a nasty comic relationship that needed to be left in the previous reads, okay? So if this is you, you could be heartbroken. I'm, I'm just, I'm thinking of Ashley, right? Nothing you can do about this scenario. But this, I feel, is different. Well, there is something she can do in her scenario. She can pick herself up and keep it moving, right? She's got friends. She's got family. She's got me. Um... So she doesn't, it's, it's her choice whether she sits in this or not. It's not, it's not easy, but it's a choice. And these are also lesson cards, so it's something you needed to go through, right? But as soon as you realize you had to go through what you go through, you get out of this. You pick yourself up and you go. Use your imagination. Like I said, it's all about that creativity that's in the air right now. It's almost like a down week to create. Not to fantasize. To create action oriented or you feel lonely or somebody else does the universe put you in that situation there's a reason for it I I won't sit in that no freaking way see it's acceptance it's whatever you decide whatever you're going through right now is a lesson it's not gonna change as much as you try to change your situation this week, 
you can't. It's, it's mind over matter. You feeling lonely, get out of it. You feeling left out, get out of it. Somebody turned their back, oh well. Yep, it sucks. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. That song that just keeps coming to me. Give me a higher love. That's, that's you too. Or maybe someone's lonely because they sat in an energy knowing they could do something and they sat in procrastination and did nothing. Right? And now they need to accept life goes on. Maybe they lost a situation. It, it's, it's their loss. Maybe it was taken from them. Maybe in a situation where there's a, there's a breakup and, and one doesn't want the other back or vice versa. It, it's really the energy you're in. But I'll tell you right now, these are lesson cards once again. Okay? Certain situations you cannot change. Ashley example, can't change it. All of a sudden, she wanted to start chasing. She's not even a chaser. Why? Because she doesn't want to be lonely. But she needs to accept she doesn't need to be lonely if she can realize that there, there's there's a reason for everything and that there's, there's so much more out there. And there's so much in her life right now to be thankful for. So if she sits in that, she sits in it. It's like any breakup. I've been there, done that, sat there long enough. Right? But I'll, I'll push her through. But see, like, that's the type of lonely that's, like, unavoided. This is such a bigger thing here. This is, like, eh, energy. This is, like, somebody who's choosing. Like, they feel left out. But here's, I don't think they need to. See what I'm saying? Like, I, I feel like this is, I'm giving you an example of the Ash situation and the breakup. But this, I feel like, is different. I think this is more like... Not even a sacrifice, but like, if you miss someone, it's on you. Or somebody's realizing somebody might need to leave the scene. It really just depends, right? There's definitely some pride getting in the way. There's definitely a challenge here. I think somebody, I think there's also fear here, leaving somebody lonely. But it is, there's something there. It's, huh? This is, a, this is a tough week to figure some stuff out, but I wouldn't sit in this. If you're lonely and you miss someone because of your own actions, because it looks like it's it's your own actions, then that's on you. If you're going through something, it's because somebody left you and there's a breakup. There, there's still a lesson you still need to accept because that's the way. Yeah, see, indecisiveness. I, I use my intuition in all aspects of life. The high priestess didn't come out in my reads, okay? But mind, body, and soul, that's all about manifesting. And and we have a week for this. So if you want to sit in that, depending on for how long, you will. It's like creating your own prophecies, and it's like your choice. In some cases, the universe took that, took that from somebody because they sat in it. So now you have to accept how you feel. So there's like three different scenarios here. All right. And others of you, like I said, need the courage to possibly leave a situation because the strength card was there. There was definitely some fear regarding some stuff. So, again, it, it depends on who you are. I hope this helps. When I say keep it moving, troops, you got to keep it moving this week. You want to sit in that? That's on you. There's somebody around you that's all up in this energy. You can either help or push through or you turn, you, or you turn your back to this. But it's unavoidable energy. This was taken from someone, a situation. Because I'm reading off today's reads and why this stuff's coming out. Tell me about loneliness. Got the High Priestess and the Ten of Pence. Maybe somebody does need to leave a family situation. Or you didn't get your family situation when... Yeah, see, no, that, that's not it. Especially with intuition here and the High Priestess coming out. It's like, you didn't use your intuition. Or you're not using your intuition. There's no, There's no gut. You know, like, somebody's leaving a family situation. 
before you need to. Maybe somebody doesn't want to leave someone lonely. But they have to accept it. You also would have to accept it too, but the, it's more like you reap what you s oh, see. That that's that's tough because I can feel a whole bunch of different energies here. And if there is a massive breakup or people leaving families or scenarios, commitments in general, there's a higher reason for it. Bring me a higher love, Ooh. and it's more about you. Or or maybe you got in a fight with somebody in the family parent maybe somebody you know you're away right now college who knows when you miss your family but to me this is you got to use your intuition here you ask me someone doesn't want to leave somebody lonely but it's not about them but it's like how can you say that though right well I, I can say that and I can say it blunt and harshly to you guys like that because it, it's different for everyone, but it's like, that's not your destined scenario. If you're feeling lonely right now, it's, oh Jesus, holy shit. This is so many different dynamics. I don't know how many of you caught the whole Ashley thing, but that would be her leaving a commitment, but there's, there's a reason. But this is way bigger. Like to me, that's family. Yeah, she had a family, but this is, this is some, this is a. She didn't have the ten of pens with this person. This is somebody who's married, has a family, needs to leave, but doesn't want to leave the scenario. Or someone's feeling lonely right now because they really want the family and they're not. They don't have it. It really just depends on who you are. You you would know, right? But at the bottom of the deck is like. See, wanting wanting something new, new area of something, but not not letting the past go because it once again the chariot just made an appearance. But it's like having to accept something. I think it was taken because somebody didn't. Is tell me about acceptance. I I think it was taken. Something was taken from you. Certain things don't always go my way either. I gotta accept, right? Versus sitting in that. Yeah, you got the you got the four of pence. Somebody was holding on, or still holding on, but I, I wouldn't, you know, five of cups. You know, that here's that indecisiveness going on. But um it, it's like it's like, it reminds me, the four of pence reminded me of grudge energy lately. I don't know what that's forgotten. Not lately, really today. But accepting everyone has has a challenge. So some of you are, are going to sit in this. I don't know how long it will last, but that's not fun. Has to do with your past for sure. It's like accepting you were holding on to something. It's almost like if this all plays a story, it's like you were only holding on to some type of commitment for money. Give me a higher love. Ooh. Yeah, not wanting to leave a situation because of money. Was what it looks like right this second. Which, obviously, I can get, people can get. A lot of people stay in situations for financial reasons. But it, it would be, it would definitely be you holding on to something you know you shouldn't be holding on to. Holding on to a relationship for the wrong reasons. But in some people's eyes, it, it, it seems right. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to leave. I'll have, like, this almost reminds me of the five of coin. But it, it's, it's about loneliness, right? You don't want to leave someone lonely. But, like... It's it's karma. It's it's karmic. They get what they deserve. You get what you deserve. Good or bad, it's it's however it rolls. And then it's like acceptance. It's like here's it's the eight of wands, right? To me, this is a journey. 
but you get the sun reversed, so it's like someone's still not seeing it clearly or not knowing how to make this type of move. It's definitely not accepting it. It's, it's a challenge. Someone doesn't want to accept something right now. It looks like a marriage being over. But wanting to stay... Yeah, see, I don't think you can. I think it was taken. And I think this is why I was doing this read. I, I think something was was taken from you or or this person or it, definitely a relationship having having to move forward this would be a scenario where it was literally taken from you and you don't have a choice like you're already feeling lonely or left out or you're about to and it's like there's there's a destined journey right in front of you it's like you had plenty of time. See, this kind of makes sense with my Friday wrap-up, like the, the read we were doing. You know what I mean? Like, it, it kind of makes sense now that I think about it, I guess. So I, I, I see it. Whoa. Yeah, see, five of pence. There it is. You know, the whole, the whole juggling. But the universe is like, yeah, no. Done with the juggling. Again, it, I don't know if it comes down to money or not, but even if it doesn't, it's like everyone's got feelings, everyone has a soul, you know, it's tell me about the five of pence, you know, I don't know how much longer, I, I don't know. It's like accepting that there's, there's just, there's something here. Yeah, the death card reversed, you, you, it's not accepting it, but like. It's like you have no choice. There's the wheels here to move you in, in the right direction. You know, it's like, what are you doing? I mean, ultimately, it's it really is up to up to you. It's, it's a massive lesson here. For some of you, it was taken. Others of you, you're still sitting in it. Some of you are going to sit in this for a while. It's like, I don't know why we have repeating energy like that. Like, we already did the 50-50 read. Majority of you, tell me about this ten of pence. It was taken. I don't think you get to sit here and decide anymore. Into, in, into, into verse, universe interfered. Others of you, you'll be able to sit in this energy and repeat in this. Again, it's, again, it's like the 50-50. Yeah, see, not wanting to learn of, uh, uh, not wanting to move forward. You haven't learned the lesson yet. But have you really been happy in your relationship? There's different types of happies. Maybe, yeah, maybe you're financially happy. But with the whole, give me a higher love. Ooh, tell me about this. Give me the high. Well, that one that's come out. Give me a high, higher love. Give me a higher love. Ooh. Honesty and friendship. Yeah, see, there's there's something else here. I can't always expect the truth for others, but I can expect it to myself. Expect it from yourself. It's being true to yourself. I understand there's a friend in my life for a reason. So, the, yeah, the, the universe is definitely playing a role here to get somebody where they need to be, vice versa. I just feel like it's complicated now because for some people it was taken away. And now it's like 50-50. You will sit in this for a very long time under the cycle or you, you get yourself out of this. You turn it around. You want better. You want happiness. You don't want lonely. It's like there's, there's such a lesson here. Either you're going to learn it or you're not. But there's definitely a relationship here, a soulmate, a friendship. It doesn't matter who. Somebody was placed on your path for you to realize something. And it's almost like you didn't want to accept it. But you kind of, some of you have no choice. Whether you end up with that person or not. They were meant to, whether they were a catalyst or a life partner. Everybody has a choice, right? So this is a lot like the 50-50.
It's, it's like someone can't see something clearly, so it's like they're not going after it. It is it's something like that. Tell me about. Tell me about friendship. Give me a higher love. Yeah, see, but it's like you're coming up as the king of chalices, so it's like this king comes up as somebody who's in love. But I don't know if you're already in a relationship, troops, a family situation, not wanting to leave. I don't know what you're going to do. You, you got put in a, a tricky situation. We all do. Look at the dynamic <laughs> I was put into when I first started reading for you guys. Catalyst woke me up. I thought it was my twin. Heard over heels. Stuck. Obsessed. Lonely. There was nothing but about that situation. I felt forced. Couldn't understand life. Like, it's it's one of those, you know, it's it's not easy. You know, we've all been put in those scenarios. For sure. You got a journey right in front of you. Yeah, so you got unconditional love. It's, it's like... It's like a vulnerable energy, but not allowing yourself to be vulnerable, not letting your guard down, not speaking the truth on how you feel. It's like, it's entrapment. That's what I should label this whole damn video. I just thought of Sean Connery, Connery and uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones. But like, that's a beautiful story in the end, but it's like, it's like an entrapment. And it, and it sucks when you get put in those situations. But there's a lesson here. Someone doesn't want to learn it, but it's almost like, I don't think you have a choice. You really don't. Like, Ash right now doesn't have a choice. I mean, she does and she doesn't. Here's the choice. You can stay in that, I don't know, six months to a year. Or you can communicate, get yourself out of the situation. Stop being indecisive about what you want. It's like, you know what you want, but you won't do it because maybe somebody else gets left out. Or, or maybe if you move forward, if you're leaving a commitment, obviously there's going to be an adjustment financially but it's like you got to use your intuition here so you might be dealing with someone who's spiritual maybe you don't know if they're spiritual or not uh, religious something because it's like this person knows how to use their intuition but it doesn't want to doesn't want to move that's why I feel like there's a plan B in place whether it's linked to this person or not there's, there's always an agenda, right? If someone doesn't want to follow their journey, their destiny, not learn a lesson, it's, they're going to be very unhappy for a very long time. It's that whole misery loves company thing, right? Here it is because somebody doesn't want to make the choice. This is so part of the 50-50 read if you guys didn't catch that. But there is universal, unconditional love here. Being honest with somebody communicating, letting your guard down, being vulnerable, but not wanting to do it. Lots of lessons here. Or you already feel like it's a loss. It's whatever it is you want to do with yourself this week, I suggest you keep it moving. I wish you guys luck. I wish you the best. You're going to be okay. You're going to pull through. There's friends, there's family. Yeah, see, you were put in a position where somebody got brought into your life. It was the destined scenario as clear as day. But you didn't take it. Because you don't want to let this go. So it's almost like you can have it. If you were if you were the other person's energy where you didn't get something you thought you were going to get, that friendship, that, that lover, that partnership, because that would be a for-life partnership type thing, you got the whole plan B. But I think you're good. What I was seeing was you're happy, you're secure, you're moving forward, right? This is somebody else's consequence. But they can decide whether or not to push through this. And others of you, it would be, it would be too late. And you'll have your plan B. It's like you, either way, no matter who you are, you gotta, you gotta keep it moving. Gotta keep it moving. Do, 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 do. Nobody holds me down. Uh oh, got to keep on moving. So, I don't know. Tricky. All I have to say, like, it's like, don't tell me it's like, nah, you have the strength. Look at you. Look at you. 
Look at all that masculinity and machismo. Look at it all, right? That's that's you being like, I can't do it. I can't. Nah, that don't exist. Didn't you learn that in second grade? Pretty sure we all learned that in second grade. So it's time to get back to the basics. You know, clean slate. What's your heart want? What's your soul want? What you what you want? What you really really want? I love you guys. That's not that's not good enough. That's don't cut it. That's don't cut the freaking mustard. That's who you are. It's like somebody's holding themselves back from this. It's like why, why? Man, well I'm sure there's there's plenty of whys. Okay, maybe another relationship. I I don't know. This could be a job for all I know, and you're not freaking happy, but you stay, and you're freaking miserable, but the money's good. The universe is like enough. There's something else that's so much better. And not that it's better. I hate saying, no, it's better. And I hate saying it like that. Especially in the moment of, of sorrow. Not feeling, not feeling yourself. But like, whew, you know, I, this is, this is not health. This is you holding yourself back, restraining, resisting. Right? And then you're like this. Why? Because you're in a situation where you knew you should have went after something. You knew there was something destined. You knew there was a situation. You just, you didn't. Which is fine. We all, you know, it looks like some of you, the whole misery loves company thing will, will work for you. And if you're wondering why the whole misery loves company thing, you know, you're staying in something where it's, it's comfortable. It's a comfortable situation. There's no love. Could be financial. You know what I mean? It, it wasn't a loving situation. You weren't getting 100%. Clear as day. It was not unconditional. It is not unconditional. You remain in this. That's not... Bring me a higher love. You had to have made a wish or something. That's how this shit works in this world. Just not might be what you thought it is. But hey. That's what life is. You know? You make the best of it. So, it's, what type of cycle do you want to sit in, really? Oh, my goodness gracious. Keep it moving, guys. I'll see you later, Gators. Bye.